Hello everyone and welcome to .NET Core Central. Today I am going to take a step at building a small service and the client for gRPC. gRPC is an open source high performance RPC framework and it can be used from a browser or edge devices and mobile applications to connect to backend services. So to demonstrate that first I am going to create gRPC service. For that I am going to create a new ASP.NET Core web application. And I'm going to name the project as grpcdemo.server. And this is where the server code will run. And I'm going to create an empty project. So once the project is created, I'm going to add the necessary namespaces for grpc support. And these are, I'm going to install the grpc core, the grpc tools, and then the grpc.aspnet core which in turn installs google.protobuf which is another necessary project but on the server side we don't have to because the grpc.aspnet core automatically installs it so once this is done i'm going to create a new folder called protos and also i'm going to go ahead and add an item group here and for this item group i'll add a tag for protobuf And I'm going to create a protobuf service which is going to return the population of a state. So my definition of the grpc service will be saved in a file called population.proto. Next I'm going to create the population.proto file. And inside this file I'm going to define the service contract. So this is my service, the population provider, and it's going to have a single RPC method, which is get population. Which takes get population request as the input. and returns population response. And next thing I'm going to create the contracts for population request and population response. So I define both the contract, population, request as well as response. Request takes string state as a parameter and response return the count. So once I have that, next thing I'm going to do is to create the service. So I'm going to create a population class and once I declare this proto file, the NuGet package that I added, grpc.tools, what it does is it'll convert this and it'll generate C sharp classes behind the scene needed for the grpc communication. I have to add the item group again for some reason. Got removed.
I'll build the project. I have a spelling mistake and syntax. So let me correct this. Let me build it. So now here I'll go and I will try to inherit from the population provider dot population provider base class. So I'm going to add the namespace and now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to override And right now I am overriding the get population method, which is nothing but this definition which I declared in the proto file, the get population, which takes population request as an input and returns in response. So it's taking request as, uh, request as input and return as response. And here the second parameter which we can pass to this one is the server call context, which can be used to get the HTTP context. And then once this method is declared from the method, I'm just going to return a response back. For the time being, I'll just have a hard coded response, which will always return count the population count as let's say 1000. So here I'm overriding the get population, which is the definition here. And if I, if I go to this class, if I click on this implementation, it is going to take me to the auto-generated class. And you can see that this is all auto-generated by the tools and from the proto file. And here this guy has an implementation and you can see that it's a virtual implementation of get population. And you can see internally it is just throwing an RPC exception. But what I'm doing is in the service implementation, I'm just overriding it and I'm just returning the population response. So this is where the server is created. I'm going to run this and this is going to run on port 5001 HTTPS endpoint. And once this is up and running, I'm going to create a client to access this. And the client is going to use the same proto file, which is the contract between the client and the server. Now that the server is up and running, let's go, and you can see it's running on 5001. Let's go create a client. So I'm going to create a new project. And this time I'm going to create a console application. And I'm going to name it as grpc demo.client. Once the client is created, I'm going to do the same thing with the client. First, I'm going to add the necessary namespaces and it is going to be grpc.core. Next one will be grpc.tools. And the last one will be grpc.net.client. Now once I have this, I'm going to create a new folder just like before. And here I'm going to create a new file. And I'm going to name it same population.proto. And I'm going to copy paste the proto file from here. And I'm also going to copy this 
item group this item group entry and I'm going to paste this item group entry here the only change I'm going to do is from server I'm going to make this as a client So once I have that, now I can create the client code inside the main method to connect. For the client code, first thing I have to do is, okay, I'm missing something on the server. Let me go back to the server. I missed a very important part. On the server, in startup, I have to configure. I have not configured anything. So I have to do a services dot add gRPC. And then here, I have to configure gRPC services, the gRPC service as an endpoint, right? So I have to do use endpoint and I'm going to map the gRPC service. In this case, it is the population service. So now the server will be listening to the gRPC endpoint. Okay, now let's get back to the client. So in client, I added the three NuGet packages, the gRPC code, gRPC net client, and gRPC tools. I added the same proto file. Now next thing in the client I have to do is create a channel, a gRPC channel. And here I'm going to give the address of the local host. I'm just going to copy and paste it, which is HTTPS localhost 5001. And the next thing I'm going to do is create the client. So I'm creating the population provider and this is again an automated class made by the grpc.tools. So I'm just creating it and this is how it is making the internal calls. So let me close this. So once I do that, next thing I can do is here I can do client.get population. And in the request, I can pass the new population request. Now, if I run this, I should get 1000 back, which is the standard value that I'm returning. So let us run this. Oh, I have to add the Google dot protobuf namespace. So I'm adding the Google dot protobuf NuGet package. So this is a package which is needed on the client side, not necessarily on the server side because in server side, as I mentioned, it's automatically added by the grpc dot spnet core. So let me run this. And once I run, I can see that count is coming back as 1000 as expected. So this is all I wanted to cover today. In my next video, I'm going to cover more on gRPC. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have been getting value out of this channel, please subscribe. Thank you so much.